Camp out for justice is what she's calling it. On the inside, a tent, a warm fire, and an office where she's been helping clients why she hopes to help a whole lot more. Meet Lisa Walensky walking into her camp on Detroit's east side. It doesn't look much like a lawyer's office, but this is where she's not only seeing clients, but staging somewhat of a sit-in. Essentially, there's more injustice than we're able to help out in, and so we need more resources to fight that injustice that we see on a daily basis. It's a long way from the comforts of the offices Walensky used to work in. When I was at a larger firm, my job was to make sure people who were severely injured didn't get money, and that's really not something that you can be proud of at night. Now she advocates for those without means, fighting domestic violence, evictions. Really in hopeless situations. Um, some of them are behind bars and feel like they um, did not do anything wrong or at least didn't do the crime that they're charged with. Um, and a lot of them are losing houses. She says she'll brave the cold until the hopefully short-term goal is met. $18,500 to pay for services that help clients and be able to take on more of a workload. How's it been? It's actually, it was, I would say, fun for maybe the first week or two. Then she says depression kicked in from seeing things most of us are asleep for, like women walking alone at night. Two in the morning, three in the morning, they're transferring buses, they're changing jobs. And as those temperatures start dropping, Walensky says she'll be here. Better or worse. My dad didn't raise me to be a quitter, so I'm not going to quit. So that means I'm out here. Hopefully I get home before Christmas. I have a 12 year old that's not a big, big fan of this concept, and I'm sure he's eager to have me back home. And if you want to donate to the funding effort, you can head to our website, WXYZ.com, to get more information. Reporting in Detroit, Brian Abel, 7 Action News.